For many activists, the blame lies with the city council, whose members are primarily from Eastern Hills on the city's edge, the wealthiest and least populated part of town. The activists complain that the council has focused exclusively on development in the resort area at the expense of the city's poor neighborhoods. The city is now facing a $50 million lawsuit, and federal investigators have agreed to look into the two deadly shootings. Solidarity rallies have been held in San Francisco, Montreal, and here in New York. As the world turns its gaze on the Olympics, activists are trying to focus critical attention on the corporate sponsorship of the Games. Amongst these corporate sponsors is Dow Chemical, owner of Union Carbide, the company responsible for one of the worst ever industrial catastrophes, the 1984 chemical leak in Bhopal, India. The gas leak killed some 25,000 people, and 500,000 people subsequently developed illnesses including cancer and blindness, or gave birth to children with conditions such as cerebral palsy, partial paralysis, and mental disabilities. Days before the Olympics, a Special Olympics was staged in Bhopal, featuring children left disabled by the disaster. The games were held in an outdoor stadium in the shadow of the pesticide plant where the disaster occurred. Jamila B. brought her wheelchair-bound 11-year-old grandson, Amon, to take part. Speaking to the Associated Press, B. said, quote, Those people will see that in spite of what they did, these children are still participating, end quote. Dow purchased Union Carbide in 2001, but has repeatedly denied responsibility for the disaster and refuses to add to the $470 million compensation paid by Union Carbide in 1989. Speaking to Reuters, organizers spokeswoman Rachna Dingra said, quote, We have been protesting against Dow's sponsorship of the Olympic Games for a year now. We want them to be dropped, but we have realized this is not going to happen. End quote. 